listening to the Palmetto Dugout Show, hosted by State Director Sammy Esposito, Associate Scouts Drew Stewart and Sean Smith, that discuss all things related to amateur baseball in South Carolina. Here are your hosts. Welcome in to episode 80 of the Palmetto Dugout Show. Austin now has his uh, name on the graphic, so I know he's excited we hadn't changed the audio. Um, I'm step away from actually being like a, a legitimate participating member here. Do you feel better now? Yeah, and I mean, I got here on time today. Um, I actually have a game to talk about. My name's on the thing up here. I don't know. You, I don't know it's, it's, it's big time now. Um, Sammy will be joining us shortly here. Um, he is coming back from a wolfy loss, um, uh, but they I'm losing my well, messed up on the camera there. Um, Fading into the Powdersville sunset there. I'm a patriot. See, I'm doing it again. Um, maybe we should turn another light on since we're live. Love my job. Um, so weekly storylines here, coach. We, we know you're a Hannon man. How'd it go? Well, um, Hannah finished off their three-game sweep. I know they won pretty big Monday night and then Wednesday night. I got a little confused from the Hannah Twitter page. They uh, tweeted that the that it was another Yellow Jacket win, but when they put the score up, JL Man had more runs than they did. So I got a little confused. Um, but after I dug through some some sources, um, it, it, it was just backwards. It was a classic typo. Um, I got another thing about Hannah need to, we need to talk about here in a second after the game recap. But, yeah, I was there Friday night, windy. It was cold again. I think every time I go to a game, it's it's windy and cold. But had a really good pitching matchup. I had Seth Manning and Hunter Howard going at, going at each other. Um, and, and to be honest with you, if a, lo- a little bit better defense would have been played, they might still be tied 0-0 down there playing. Um, neither, neither one of them got hit hard. Um through a lot of strikes. I think one of them had 10 strikeouts. The other one might have had six. Um, but but both of those guys have – I mean, they, I, I saw both of them last year, and I – for sure with uh, Mr. Howard, he has he has came a long way. He was up to 92 um, and, and sat there for a while, too. He was in – he at, you know, it, I think you had him at 93 earlier in the year, if I, if I recall. Yeah. Um, but he was – I mean, it, it was it was like every, every pitch – Every fastball was 90, 91, and and he rode that all the way um, into the fourth. I think he might have hit a ninety in the fifth as well, um, and, and and threw his breaking ball well. Like I said, had a, had a couple miscues defensively that cost him a couple runs early on, um, but he threw the ball really well. So, and then Manning as well. He's twenty five, uh, going to South Carolina, but he he threw it he threw it well as well he was he was more in the 87 88 89 range hit 90 a few times uh used a breaking ball a lot big breaking ball and also threw had a really nice change up as well um when i watched him last year i do remember he had the big breaking ball but he it wasn't as well located and used as often as it was uh this time but yeah he like I said, he, he he reached back and get that 90 when he needed it but had the big breaking ball and then uh like I said, it was just uh, people just trying to scratch a run across any way they can. It was one nothing, one one for a while, and then uh, Hannah broke it open, had a squeeze, RBI squeeze, Reese Oakley. I know he comes to, he, he's a he's a regular at a lot of our things. Um, he he did a great job behind the plate, and uh, he had a squeeze. I think it was in the sixth, then and maybe put him up two to one. Um, but it, it was it was a really well played game. Like I said, a little bit better defense. Um, it probably would have been a one to nothing, two to one type game. Ended up, I think the final was four to three. Even don't hold me to that. It's four three, three two, one, something like that. Um, but yeah, cra- uh, good, good game all around. Enjoyed it. The, the jackets are on the up and up. Um, I'm sure Sam is it's, thrilled. I think it's because at the beginning of the year, I think I picked Hannah to play for state or win state. I don't remember, and then I dropped them and. Went out on a limb and picked man for some reason, and you know shows what I know. Coach, we, we have a, we've got a comment on Instagram that we can get to. Um, Daniel Baseball commented, and we'll, we'll, we'll allude to this. Thoughts on Daniel destroying Crescent? So I will we'll kind of set the record straight here. I wonder who um, runs that account. 
I don't know, but in game one, Dan did beat Crescent by a score of one nothing. Now you go to Friday night and Crescent beat Daniel a score of nine to one. Um, so I'm not sure about the destroying part. Obviously, a big win uh for the Lions. I think they're tied atop of the, the region standings with a, a week to go. But I, I don't know about destroying coach. I would like I would like to comment on that. Um I, I think I picked Daniel as a three A sleeper early in the year, and I the only reason I picked it is because Coach Payne and he's you know a good friend of ours and uh, one of the top fungo and BP guys in the state. But he took over that program. We know they got they got some talent in there, and he's done a really good job of that team. Um, but I, I'm with you. That was a huge huge win on Tuesday night. No no doubt about that. Um, you know, I don't think anybody – I think everybody thought Crescent was going to win both those games and go on. But, yeah, big win Tuesday night. But uh, I, I think if the season ended the day, if those two teams were tied for first, I think Crescent would get the tiebreaker on. <laughs> so, I'm not sure that we can go with destroying. But I do think Coach, Tuesday night – The thing is, what's what's that region's tiebreaker? Is it a play-in game for the number one seed? I don't know. Every region I ever coached in, we did, head, we did overall record, and then it was uh, – Head to head, and then it was runs allowed. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's not it. Who knows anymore? Um, but there's your your first comment of the day um, coming from the Lions. Maybe um, we need a maybe we need a one game playoff, and we can set the record straight on who the better who the team best is. is. See who destroys who. Let them settle it on the ball on the ball field. Might, might be a lot of destroying. Um, I'm we, glad we got that comment. I've, see, the comments keep us going. Or people are slacking on some of the comments, but that, that was a great comment there, Daniel. I don't know if good. Dude, I wanted to, I wanted to bring up Hannah while we were talking about him. Hannah, you know, we always talk about the guy at Somerville, the social media guy. Um, you know, always putting up the graphics videos and whatnot. The T.O. Hannah has acquired one, and I'm not sure. I don't know his name. I met him Friday night, and I, I didn't realize that's what he was doing when I met him. Great guy, don't know his name. I should have got his name, but they have a they have a guy with a camera that's uh, he's uh, and I looked on their page, their Twitter page. He's kind of he's kind of crushing it. So we'll shout out to that guy if we can get a name for him. That'd be great. I'd love to put a plug in for him past what I did, but you know, there we go. Great, and man, social media it. guy, you're up there. You're, you're doing uh, well. <laughs> What welcome, Coach Espo. It's a gentleman. You made it back from Tiger Town. I didn't make it back from Tiger Town right when you get on the 85 <laughs> screeching halt. That two hour and 15 minute ride became four hour and 30 minute ride. So, you know, it's a good time. You mm -hmm. know, unfor it was. I complain about the two hours. The reason for the stop, I cannot complain. So, we've we made it back. We're here and we're uh, we're rocking and rolling. Hey, we got we got the name, uh, Coach Austin from Will Craddock. It's uh, Harsh Patel. Um, we also have his Instagram handle as well. We can uh, apply that to our beautiful, wonderful yeah. template. Let me put, a, let me put a plug in for that guy because he's he's crushing it. Good for him. Mr. Craddock had a good night Friday night as well. Enjoyed getting to watch him play ball. Espo, I'm glad you joined when you did because we got some business side. Okay. We got some business. We got some business. May 25th, quickly approaching, whether we like it or not, a rising stars in Rock Hill, Coach. Coach, it is. <clears throat> we, uh, we're we getting there. Um, up up at the, the hit mill up there in Fort Mill, right there, or Rock Hill, sorry, um, <laughs> pretty much right across the street from, from Winthrop. Um, so we'll we'll be up there and and, and ready to roll. Have our, our first rising stars, right? And we've talked about this a lot last year, but the rising stars for us, selfishly for us, are huge, right? When you look at our our junior future teams the past two years, probably close to ninety percent of our rosters have come from these rising stars events. Um, and the rising stars for the players itself, when you kind of look at it this way, it kind of goes. People go, well, what's the point of a rising star? You know. Right, it's kind of that introductory, right? The, the cost point of these is, is way down. Um, <clears throat> it kind of gives you that introductory look into a, a showcase world that a lot of these these players are, are starting to come into, whether it's, you know, stuff like ours or, or other companies out there. But 
when they're going off to college camps, right? College, especially with the, the new recruiting stuff, they're relying heavily on camps. And now you're getting the intro into this this world of, of showcases. And, and the more you do them, the more comfort you have with them. Um, and then also you kind of get a good baseline of where you're at starting off, you know, pretty much right when you get into high school. And I, I'll tell you one thing, and we've talked about this a lot before, but players can can see where they're at. They get a good baseline. And then where we're at the next year, then the following year. And you can see those jumps. You can see those that progress that these players have. You know, when a college coach is, they're going to start to recruit these kids, right? So the 26th class coming up, right? Obviously, they're going to have a list and all that stuff. But they get some names. <clears throat> they can go what, look at the kids' profiles and go, hey, all right, this kid's 88 now. He was 86 last year on prep baseball, South Carolina stuff. He was 84 the year before that. He was 80. He's making the right jumps, going in the right direction <clears throat> to where, where schools can project or, or heck, um, you know, MLB scouts can project a little bit more on those things and see they're going the right way versus going, oh, this kid was 93 as, a, as an eighth grader and he, he he's now 88. Something's going on there. They can kind of see some things. So, yeah, the rod, and plus, too, the Rod Stars are fun for us, right? It's we, we try to have a good time with the guys, and it's, you know, not a serious matter. You know, parents try to do a good question and answer with them, try to do, like, some recruiting stuff, some some showcase things. A lot of it, too, is what we are. What do we do? You know, what what can we provide and, and help, help the players along the way? So we have a good time with those. And like I said, to start with, selfishly, for us, that's a humongous – humongous identif- identifier for us for the junior futures team, which, you know, we finished third last year. We're gonna, maybe we can try to run the table this year and do a little bit better than that. Top two. Uh, Top two. Little South Carolina. Um, and then two other big events, Coach. So these are even bigger this year with some changes um, to the future games. We got two Team South Carolina trials, June 5th, College Charleston, July 2nd, at the University of South Carolina, first time ever. First ever prep baseball event of the University of South Carolina. So, yeah, the the, the Team Carolina trials are, are huge, right? So you, you look at it, we talk about the, the Futures games. You talk about the Junior Futures. And right in those two events, they're, they're open up, you know, 25 to 28 grads. Or, um, so we kind of open it up to a bigger, you know, bigger thing. It's, it's, again, kind of another big identifier for us for that. But also we have the new thing this year down to the Future games, really the 17U. So this year, the first time ever, Little Old South Carolina is having our own futures game team. Second year, having our own junior futures. So we're going to be having our own two there. We're going to be partnered, paired up with Georgia and Florida for the 17 and under future game team, senior one. So <clears throat> for those for those guys going into their senior year, you know that are that are still you know obviously out there kind of getting the you know the the recruitment going. These are big events because you know right we we know a lot of them. But they're not kind of another crack at you know for some of these guys that come up there. But eliminate those things, right? We also got, you know, the border battle, you know, right after the first one of the College of Charleston. <clears throat> then we got the top prospect games at the end of the summer, um, back down to the College of Charleston. So we, you know, they're big events for us that turn into our invite only stuff. Right. And I had this conversation with somebody the other day, invite only our invite only stuff is invite, right? We got people that request. And by the way, if you haven't requested that border battle, we're about 75% full on our roster. So if you want any crack of that thing, send in that request. And that's all all classes, 25, 26, and 27 class. So we're about full with those rosters. <clears throat> so if you want those requests in there, throw them out there or, you know, come to these trials and first, first hand note. Hey, last year, remember down the College of Charleston, you know, outside of listening to the best playlist in the country, you know, Wickersham churn, up churn there. a little butter. He <laughs> churned a little butter over there. You know, we you know we had some studs pop up over there. You know, and some guys that wind up making some names for themselves, and for us, we're kind of some some first time looks. So, those, those Team Carolina trials, they're they're a big identifier for us, and you know, we have a good time and listen to some jams, churn some butter, and now this Play year I'll have, yeah, I'll have. <laughs> yeah, y'all two played a little golf while you went off to the tournaments, um, and then the you know the beginning of July I'll be having a home game. You guys can drive on down to Columbia and do a nice little showcase. First time ever, we've knocked out we've knocked out Clemson and now University of South Carolina, along with all the other schools that we've already been to. So we're checking them off. I love it. 
It's fantastic. Um, that that's the business. Let's get to the the weekly high school review. Um, <laughs> the PBSC Bomb Squad. Carson Bay at Seneca coach senior night five for five with a bomb. I think that's pretty good. Is that good? Is that it? I think it's good. Yeah. I'm not totally sure yeah. though. Pretty good senior night. I'd say it's a way not to go around. Right? <laughs> Austin came out of the pen on senior night. Uh, so <laughs> it was in, a, senior night, I was, in uh, a blowout. In a blowout. I was uh I, I was I struck out to end the game on senior night. <laughs> Could, if so. you would have hit the ball, could you have won the game? No. Oh, well. <laughs> we were down by a large margin, and it was against Seneca, by the way. As uh, as Daniel said, you were getting destroyed. I got crushed. Drew, <laughs> you didn't you didn't realize it, Austin, but Drew was at that game because it was at Seneca back in the day. It was at <laughs> West Oak. It was, a, it, oh, it was at West Oak. I wouldn't my, go to West oh, Oak. Oh, never mind. My bad. I thought, I thought we were back at Seneca. Nah. No, not yet. Yeah, because we already had to answer the first comment question of the day is about Daniel destroying Crescent. We kind of from the from the Daniel Instagram page they asked us that. Coming in strong, huh? But they only won one nothing. <laughs> they were right off the hip. They were coming in hot. <laughs> one to nothing destroyed, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then lost nine to one. So I mean, I don't know here. Uh, um I'd say you gotta feel like you feel, I don't even know. Um pitcher of the week. <laughs> <laughs> is Austin's boy, A.J. Camerata, and Blue Ridge, six innings pitch, two hits, 15 Ks, something that Austin didn't do. I'm a little disappointed in myself that I, I – back. I, you know, that was my preseason 3A player of the year, and I bailed out on him and should have stuck with him. You know, you, he was coming off the injury. He didn't know where he was at. He, you know, <laughs> he, there were some questions you had, you know, but he, he's been answering them. He, yeah. Fifteen bills. It, it's a, yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a, punching some tickets right there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty good after that one. Ooh. Coach, here's the big one. Um, the little old South Carolina made national headlines this week. National headlines. Hitter of the week is Sterling Coxon from Hanahan. A six ninety two average, three bombs, two grand slams. With those three bombs, twelve RBIs, eight runs, and National Player of the Week. Coach, don't forget one of those grand slams was a walk off. Yes, it was walk off mm -hmm. winner. So I, I mean, I don't, you know, when we saw those stats, I think I think you sent them to me, Drew. What like last Sunday night or something? Yep. And you go, this one's over. I had the graphic <laughs> done before we even we even got anything done. It would have. I'm not saying somebody couldn't beat them, but. Gato mighty. I mean, how Hard about that beat. week? I mean, I, you know, okay, the bat, you know, he's hit 629. Okay, you can do that, whatever. But the three home runs, oh, and two grand slams. People don't hit two grand slams like in their entire life. That play for That's them. more, that is more home runs, RBIs, and runs than I had in my entire high school career. <laughs> <laughs> Sterling, congratulations. Not eliminate the player of the week. Congratulations to driving in more runs and home runs than Austin did. There, there's a reason Austin was a pitcher. That's right. There's a reason I'm sitting here. <laughs> there's a reason I'm sitting here. <laughs> At the Masters. At the Masters. It, it, <laughs> ten, ten years after his playing career at high school, Sterling's probably not going to be sitting here talking on podcasts with a fake screen of Augusta National in his background. He might still be playing. <laughs> Let's, let's hope so. But yeah, big top. Right. We were, we kind of joked about this, right? We did our own player of the week, you know, and, and we get the, you know, we get the stuff from, from obviously the headquarters and they, you know, people turn in their stuff for national, like, boom, he's going in there. Right. We kind of joked, we're not going to, you know, he's not going to win it. And then, right. Drew, I text you, I get the, I get the message. Hey, I need some, I need some good photos. Sterling got the player of the week. <laughs> boom. So, Big shout out to him. Obviously, Hanahan keeps doing their thing. So, and it helps when you hit three three home runs and two grand slams in a week from a player. You know, you, you know, you know, not only that, right, not only what? that, right, there's a lot of people on base. Yeah, the, the two grand slams runs up the RBI total in a hurry. Yeah, it, it's. No. I mean, good for him. Good for him. That's, that's eight. 
Yeah. My, did my math correctly yeah. on the two That's grand slams. That's a lot of runs to score, though. I mean, you scored three on the home run, obviously. But, I mean, you scored five more times. How many games did they play? Seven? They played four. Oh, uh-huh. good for him. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's, why they, that's why they won the hit tournament. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was for the that was for the tournament. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I was thinking yeah, that, that was, was against like a region team in a series. Man, it sucks to be them. Hey, maybe we, maybe stop pitching to them. Yeah, there you go. We've got a uh, new segment. Um, Austin's not aware of this. Um, Sammy somewhat is aware. It's called the PVSC Not Top Ten. <laughs> And that number one play. This throw is not even going to be thrown Ooh. with one. We'll, we'll, we'll replay it. This throw is not even going to be thrown <laughs> yeah, watch it, with one. They switched it to the new base. They went to the MLV base and didn't tell them. Well, that is, that is none other than Landon Fowler, and we won't get to how we preferred this video. Uh, but he is winner of the PBSC not top ten this week. Um, Big so congratulations! You can, in those, you can send in those nominations. <laughs> big, big congratulations for winning that award. We, I need later. some. I need some ground rules for the. Does it have to be something that happens on the field, or can it be something that happens outside of the stands? <laughs> well, can it be something happening in the parking lot, or can it be our, our boy Wild Bill or something? Can it be anything? <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> well, look, I want you to let me put this back on there. Look at the scoreboard in this Mr. game. Bro is not even going to be thrown. Like ESPN Plus scoreboard with one. I think they stole it. Mr. Like this is <laughs> like it. Uh, are we going slow mo on this? My no, umpire looks like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> look at boy, that's oh. athleticism. We're going oh, face God. plant. Boom. Man. When you when you first sent me that, I thought whoever it was blew an ACL out. So and I didn't he's want just to laugh laying there, right poor guy. If you're the first base coach right there, are you laughing at him? Because I am. Yes, 100%. Okay, perfect. And the first baseman and the umpire. Yeah, everybody. As soon as you know he's okay. Yeah. That's why. Hey, you good? I'm good. Yeah. Nothing's broke, right? All right, now I can laugh at you. You didn't tear your knee up? All right, I'm laughing at you. So that that's the start of the segment at PPSC not top ten. Um, congratulations, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fowler. Yeah. So so hey, we got some stuff. Tag us in some 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 video clips this week, please. No, that's you know, a, I think this is going to be big. If you're really interested in embarrassing your teammate, uh, son, a friend, or whatever it is, or, or you know, it could be it could Arrival. be one of us three walk. Could have been one of us three walking to the park and falling down. You never know. But you know, yeah. here, <laughs> when, <laughs> it could, it could be me eating a hot dog at, at a game with mustard on my shirt or something like that. Yeah, okay. Let's go. You know, you hold up the hot dog instead of the radar gun. You know, yeah. you never know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's throwing some heat. <laughs> oh, um, but, now we this is, we'll get to the uh this game of the week here shortly. Um, but we'll start off with the two game series of the week. <laughs> Number 10, Fox Creek taking on Strom Thurmond and what will possibly decide the region championship. Um we'll, we'll go through some predictions here. It is a two game series, Austin, so you can pick a split. I want um, Fox Creek sweep. Feeling bad. Whoa. Feeling it feeling good. Wow. Today. You know, I I'm tired of the Strom Thurmond Barstool account to give me uh, the Predators, the Fox Creek Predators, in a in a destroying sweep. I did not know Fox Creek was the Predators. Is that, is that the mascot um, for real? They're the Predators. Yeah, they're the Predators. That's cool. You know, Strom Thurmond, you know, right, their Barstool account instantly threw shade at us the first, the first ranking we ever did. And they proceeded to start the year like 0 and 8 or whatever it was. Mm. But then they've turned the corner. They're rolling. They're starting to pick it up. They had a tough injury. Somebody go down. They have the other guy step up. I'm I'm gonna pull in Austin right now and I'm going split. I'm gonna go Fox Creek win Tuesday. Strom Thurman win game two. Ooh. Well, here is your your fan vote currently. And it's the mm-hmm. Fox Creek sweep, 60%. percent mm-hmm. your fan vote currently? Mm. That might actually only be 58% because one of those votes was mine. 
I'm glad you're about me. <laughs> Might be my kids and wife too. Yeah. So you never know. I'm so glad for voting. Hey, by the way, time out. Speaking of these votes, remember last week we got the one comment. Somebody asked how we do these graphics. How does, did you see that one, Drew? I did not. Somebody goes, how you do this? <laughs> <laughs> Just click the button. Like it's it's right there for the taking. Yeah, it's, click it's, who you think you're gonna you're gonna win. I mean, if Austin, if Austin can do this, anybody can. Oh shit! <laughs> um, here we go for the three games. I'm just of the week here. before you go knocking my technology skills. I have the password to the Twitter page. Just remember that. <laughs> but you, yeah, we can actually, change I, it. You have to do I, two factors. Yeah, it has to it has to come through me to approve. No I, I'm still in. <laughs> I'm, I can I can cut I can cut you out after I do my damage. <laughs> you just thought you just thought that was I thought that was some Thailand that was hacking the account. It was they actually in, they were in Powdersville. <laughs> Speaking of Powdersville, we need, I need to talk to Coach Padgett down there. We need to get a little water on that grass. There's some foul territory. It's looking a little dry. <laughs> It was hot today. I don't know if you went outside today. It was hot outside. I don't know when that picture was taken, but the last year playoffs. Oh, okay. That from makes the drone, sense. From the drone. Yeah. I think it was last year. It might have been two years ago. Who knows? Yeah, old, um, old grass burning out down there. Got a, little, <laughs> got a little crunchy on him. That's that good time of year to be a coach, though. You only have to paint the foul line one time. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Three game <laughs> series of the week. Um, number 17 easily takes on 24 Greenville, and it's never easy playing easily. Now, I'll, I'll throw this up there for you. Um, currently, the fan vote is easy, two games to one at 40%. That's our highest percentage for the fan vote. So, Austin, you picked first last time. So, so give us the prediction here. I got two things. You want me to give my prediction and then give my comment afterwards? Or you want to just I, well, we would love that. I'm sure Why the not? viewers would too. Okay. Um, I'm I'm going I'm going against the fans. I'm going Greenville two out of three. Give me the Raiders. What's your comment? Oh, I wanted to give a shout out for Greenville. I thought I was gonna do it at the end. Sorry. Um <laughs> The, can, can we give a shout out to Coach Elliott over there with the Raiders? You know, I found out he was going to be the head coach like a day and a half before the season started, and they've had a really good year. So, I just want to throw a little plug Also, I want to throw him. him a shout out for him. They're probably one of the hardest schools, Drew, in the state to find <laughs> the record slash him schedule <laughs> slash everything. And he is on his own personal Twitter firing stuff out. So, yeah, again, another big shout out to him. For helping <clears throat> helping us out, I, just, I can imagine the panic that went through his head when he found out the other uh, that Kalinsky left like the day before the season started, hey. and all of a sudden he was this. Hey, hey, we got trout tomorrow. By the way, you're in charge. <clears throat> you never know; he might have gone about damn time. He he <laughs> he might have had the inside <laughs> knowledge. He might have knew this. He goes, "Hey, coach, I think you should apply for this job." <laughs> yeah, Marucci. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to throw a plug in for that. I was like, man, that's, that's a tough gig. To, I mean, it's not a bad gig to fall into, but it's also, you know. You're not you expecting go. that. You're expecting over there you're to maybe put on a couple pitch signs or something. or Yeah. You think you're going to press the base button on or... time all year and maybe <laughs> rake the mound after the game and find a freshman to tamp or something. And, uh, oh, nope, you're in charge now, bud. <laughs> Stories from Austin. Um, a lot of a lot of shout outs going out to, to the Red Raiders, but damn it, it ain't easy playing <clears throat> easily. The easily Green Wave sweeps the Red Raiders 3 0. Mark wow. it down right now. Wow, 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 Greenville. Um, my wife's alma mater. Um, been up there plenty of times, uh, recruiting to watch some games. Same with same with old easily there, but uh, you know what? I'm going two to one. Easily, easily takes it because it ain't easy being from easily. So we got so, we got a lot going in all different. Does anybody all think different to get a Greenville sweep? That's the only thing we no, don't have. No shot. No Greenville you can't sweep. Can't beat easily three times. Mm. Heard it there first. I mean, they're here first. <laughs> I'll be uh, on Sunday. I'll be uh, Greenville will post something with me saying can't beat easily three times. Um, 
what, what's what we're here for. Um, Draw it up, drum it up. Hey, th this we like to party. Some... You know what I mean, little Vanga boys. Let's get it little Vanga boys. I need to play that in a minute as we sign off. Um, Austin, Austin is getting up, and we're about to get Austin. to the most important part of the show. Austin just fell into the lake. There. Did he? Did he go? I think he went to go get a Red Raider helmet. I had to go get my um, green jacket. Sorry. <laughs> We got. To, I hope we have time at the end to talk about the Masters and WrestleMania. Um, Keep going. Here we go, yeah. Austin. You're going to love talking about this one. Yeah. We also have a uh, a line on this game as well. It's just a one game matchup, um, a rematch of a, of a early game in the year, and it happens on Wednesday. Number three Hanahan takes on number two James Island down at James <laughs> Island. James Island is currently one and a half run favorites um so not only do you have to go with a prediction here you're gonna have to pick the spread and pick a winner if you if it's two different ones um and, and we know we'll just let austin start off because he's wearing the shit already so go ahead austin island boys gets the win two to one so technically i'm on hannah Han one and a half whoa island boys on top though we do what we got to win that's it just this this game has has major power twenty five implications for that two and three spot because, as we know, it's about if you win now, not if you beat them early in the year. Um, so maybe if Hanahan gets a win, they could jump. Who knows? Depends on the game and how the week goes. But th there's a reason um, this picture has been going around. Okay, it's the <laughs> Fighting Chewy <laughs> Hawks, <clears throat> and it's not going away. <clears throat> Give me Hanahan. To win, I'm sticking with them, and they win by four runs, five to one, Hawks. You know what? I heard, I heard <laughs> the Stewie Hawks. You know, and here's the thing: if I if I read it correctly, neither team plays leading up to this game, so we're going we're going fresh bolts. Man, out of the man, I mean, Not, one versus one. Come and get it, what, daughter all white. Of them, all, every, Everybody's everybody's straight up. <clears throat> Everybody should be fresh. Because that wasn't have, the case last game. time. That no, was it was game, game four. four and four, four day. Yeah, and yeah, uh, we were scratching. We're, everybody was recycling. Um, so with that being said, I can I go uh, rain out? Um, <laughs> 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 I'm I'm sticking with I'm sticking with the Island Boys. And I'm gonna go six to three ball game. There you go. Six to three. Too much mm -hmm. athleticism across the floor. Coaxum's knocked all his home runs out of the way already. Home game. <laughs> Island boys six to three. Yeah, he he's got to make an out this week, right? I mean, he's bound. I mean, he's bound he's, to. He's due. He's due no. for a couple outs this week. So, Sammy, you lock your gear for the hand hand Hawks now. Picked against them. Um, I mean. I don't have any gear from anybody anyway, so what's the matter? Oh, well. It's because you got all the prep baseball gear. You don't need any team gear. <laughs> over here hey, I, 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 I don't want to hear. I hadn't hit submit yet. I can delete some of those things I got in the cart for you boys right now. So, <laughs> pipe down. Hey, oh, we got some stuff in the cart? Son of a gun. Yeah, I just um, – well, I was waiting for somebody to give me their size of their shirt, and they never responded the other day. Isn't that right, Austin? God, that's a – what a – I mean, he wouldn't respond to Lever either. I mean, we – Oh, I didn't There's respond me. to that either. I, it's, he must I'm, be you know, <clears throat> Some of us can't have that cushy office job as an AP. Get him a medium. <laughs> hey, how about this? This is <laughs> we'll, we'll get to this. The the fan vote, craziest thing, right? Here's the current fan vote: mm. two hundred and forty-two mm. votes for the Hawks, two hundred and thirty for James Allen. It's fifty-one percent. Coach, that's a lot of votes. Man. That's a ton of votes. Now is that now that's just we're just going spread right? That's not no. That's, that's to pick. Up. That's the winner. That's just straight up. That's yeah. That's not a spread. Oh, that's, that that's just that's the winner. straight up. Who's gonna win the game? Yeah. Are we sure? Okay. I, I couldn't get the offshore down. account. I couldn't get the offshore account going, so we couldn't put the spread <laughs> out there for people to pay for. I should have just kept going to the Caymans today. You know what I mean? We can get that thing set up and running. Because like I picked James Allen to win the game, but Hanahan technically with the spread, I would have been Hanahan. Hey, uh, Bob the Hand Man just entered the chat. 
Um, <laughs> Watch out now. Keep it clean, Bob. Keep it clean. <clears throat> we don't need any of that, Bob. Um, so now we can we can turn it over to Austin. <laughs> I know you have so much to talk about. Oh, we're already we're already here. We're here. Well, first off, congratulations, Scotty Scheffler, winning the Masters. Um, I hope nobody I hope nobody watching this had it recorded. You know, you might have plans today. I'm going to watch it when we got home. He won. Uh, kind of, it was kind of boring there on the back nine. He kind of took over. Um, and then at WrestleMania last Sunday night. Holy smokes. We got off of here and and it it, it went sideways on at WrestleMania. I hope, we had, I hope everybody at home had Peacock. Um, the only way you can see it. Bob and, did. And, yeah. So we had Peacock. We we had Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes main event. The Rock shows up. John Cena shows up. The yeah, Dead Man, The Undertaker, choke slams The Rock. I mean, it was just holy cow! What a night. I mean, were you able to like go to sleep after this, or were you just like? It took so a while. Like, it took <clears> a while. <throat> you know, you know me. I like to go to bed early anyway. This was popping off at like eleven o'clock at night on a Sunday, and I'm just wired up. I, I, I mean, sent you two guys <clears throat> a video clip. I know when y'all are in school, you can't see the Instagram stuff, but I, I don't know if y'all went back and looked at it. Oh yeah, it was on uh, Pat McAfee show had a bunch of rundowns, so I sent you guys a clip. It was. Uh, yeah. Pat was Pat was speaking something. Everybody was. It was. It was a. I mean, what a what a night. <laughs> Stuff like that. I'm done. I mean, you know, I, I, hey, you know what? I, I'll be more relevant. You know, obviously, come come down from Tiger Town. Drove up to Tiger Town. Took my son up to watch my alma mater play the Tigers. And I turned, and there's a couple of scouts there, and the place started rocking after a boring zero to zero game for like six innings or whatever it was. Finally, the place started rocking. I kind of turned, and this is multiple places in our state. A lot of places have, and I go, "How awesome is college baseball?" Right, like Clemson's dinking and dunking. All of a sudden, it's a, it's a second and third. They go full on squeeze. The guy from second comes in flying, scoring the place. Like you don't, you don't get that right in a lot of like you cut on PBS you ain't watching the Braves do that one or whoever your your favorite MLB team is but right a great pitchers duel by two freshmen to go on and then the plates unfortunately had to start listening to this right here and and Clemson's pulling out all the stuff they're they're dinking and dunking to death and bunting but the place is the atmosphere right it's awesome college baseball is second to none right and and obviously all these kids we, we get out there and cover have the aspirations to go out there and play, and whether it's at Clemson or, you know, a, a JUCO, an NAI, Division Two, whatever it is, right? The, they make their own atmospheres, right? The dugouts have it. They're into it. They're they're all doing different things, and and you know I, I think that makes it it makes it awesome. And you sit there and watch it. The fans are into it. You know, you go to some of these pro games and it's just a it's boring. You know, and and sitting there watching that day, and I turned to him, I go, college baseball is awesome. Because of the reasons like that. You know, I didn't care who won today. You know, I hope my alma mater got it. But, you know, Coach Avon hooked us up some chick- tickets, so shout out to him. And then he hooked my son up with a scorecard, game-winning scorecard from yesterday. So, big shout out to him and made a good time for the boys. And I got, you know, a, a friend of the program gave us uh, – Gave me some season tickets, lifetime season tickets against uh, the the wolf, when the wolf pack comes to town, the Doug King floor. So I guess I'm a good luck charm for the Tigers. But did he, did he give your son a hat? He did not. He'd given my son a hat before, um, and my son done lost it. But <laughs> we wear those big, hats. Your son's a big we hat guy. Hats. He is a big hat guy. We wear those hats. We wear wolf pack hats. You know what I mean? I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> So a lot, a lot of fun in this big afternoon. I was good but, luck for the Wolfies. <clears throat> you should have been there today. I, I didn't want to come. You. Did you go last night? I went last night I and Friday. On, uh, I watched it on, I, on I, the tube last night. I texted Drew last night when the game ended. And he goes, go to bed. <laughs> 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 that was his response. His response I think was it was to some uh, choice emojis with the go to bed, too. Um, <laughs> I don't think it was just go to bed. Yeah, you know, it's fun. Hey, but that's, you know, 
the kids in the state have something a lot of places don't have, right? You got ACC baseball, you got SEC baseball, you got Sun Belt, you got I guess big the South. South Coastal, you got the Big South, you got the Coastal, you got the best Division Two conferences in the country, the SAC, right? Maybe. Right, you got the SAC, you got the Peach Belt, you got what's the uh, one with North Greenville? I'm missing this one real quick off top of my head. Carolinas. The Conference Carolina, right? Their their national championship a couple of years ago. You, you got, you know. Flodar, who's in you know the World Series in junior college, and we can name a bunch of those junior guys, right? But in little old South Carolina, any given weekend, a kid can get in his car and drive within a reasonable time and see some great baseball. Not not many people are that lucky to see all that in one little one little tiny state. On that note, Coach, how about USC Union with a huge <clears throat> two big wins over the number one JUCO in the yeah. country? Yeah, the, the phew, Union's rolling, yeah. and they. I, and I feel like they just got a, like 37 commits here in the last week, too. Well, they got one from Blue Ridge <laughs> today, too. Yeah. They got our Leo Lopez, Riverside. Yeah. Is that where he's from? Yeah. Missed that. Oh, that's your boy. Got a, got a Wando boy going up there. I mean, yeah, they're, they're rolling. The Bantams are looking good. <laughs> the Bantams, boy, coming in hot. Also, will be over there soon. Um He's looking for a hoodie, game. Coach and all. Coach and all, he's looking for a hoodie. I'm just looking for better weather than we had that day. We had that scout day up there. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> it was the first ever scout day of work. We had 600 kids, barbecue sandwiches, seven round delays. <laughs> 14 hours later, and it was nothing's sweet. changed. Nothing, nothing's changed. <laughs> Rain delays. Those barbecue sandwiches delays. were on point. And I, you know, I sat there thinking, man, this has got to be as bad as it gets. It'll only get better from here, and here we are. Look, you're still here. Hey, can you imagine if the food truck didn't show up with the barbecue sandwiches? We'd have no food over there. Because they ain't nowhere to eat down there. <laughs> Jonesville. <laughs> that's our recruiting plug for, for USC Union, by the way. Guys. I mean, that's, you that's want to a go great place food, to be. Wait, wait for the food truck. Bring, bring your own food. Can't get in trouble. <laughs> Lunch pail guys, you know what I mean? Lunch pail guys. That's, that's what they're looking for. Look at that blue collar. We don't need all that NIL. We don't, we don't need meals. We, we need food. Jays. We don't need food. You're you ready to take care of it. <laughs> all right. Hey, it's a short drive to Chester. Nothing there either. The Richburg <laughs> Rocket. The Rocket, boy. Hey, the I'll rocket. tell you, someone, it, someone told me this story today or yesterday. Said, they only had their car get in one time. They they're not even from. They're from up here. They said they were passing through Chester one time, and that's where it got broken into. <laughs> I'm like, son of a gun. <laughs> Crack yeah. rocket gang got it. The <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> hey, player of the week, boys, rather real quick. Got a couple great submissions already. Getting stuff in. High school coaches. Yeah. I know we're still chilling and still relaxing. They go get, tomorrow. Get them in. We got we got some good ones already. Yeah. So they're gonna they got till tomorrow at noon. Fire those things. Hey, you off. never know. You you submit too many and one of them could be national player of the week. National player of the week. Hey, get you get stuff out there. We're just trying to trying to give them the love. That's all we're trying to do. Hey, and we will have we will have you can win it again. This ain't a this ain't a one stop yeah. shop. We ain't we're not here for fairness. We ain't trying to spread it. If, if you're just better than everybody else, you're getting it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's how it works. Isn't that how life works? You know, so it's uh if you if if Coaxum comes back and was was eight for nine with three more home runs, guess who's getting it? If Coaxum uh, hits two jacks against James Allen, I will personally nominate him for player. If he hits two jacks off of James Allen, you have to give up your hoodie Ooh. to him. What do you mean? Oh, God, to him. <laughs> to oh, him. Wow. I, I take that up with Coach Spivey. He gave it to me. I'm not that good. <laughs> oh, you're, <laughs> you're the part-time pitching coach. So, it's technically your fault if you give up to Jacks. Yeah. I might I'm, I'm, I'm going to drive down to wherever they're playing that game at. St. James. Maybe bring it Wednesday. I don't... Not St. James. <laughs> I mean, James That's, Allen, sorry. I mean, you call them St. James. You call other people Hillside. I mean, we're Hill – You know what? They're, it, it just, they all run together. You Come went right by Hillside today, didn't you? I did. I stopped at that McDonald's and got me and my son some some dinner on the way home. 
He nice, pulled nice off against McDonald's. Nice little right there. Nice set of apartments back there called Cotton Mill Apartment. Coach, they got some new fancy ones right past that over there in Malden now. Them castle-looking nice. things. Have you seen those? Yeah, I don't think that's an apartment. It's condo. You're talking right? about the thing you can see from 385? Yeah. Yeah, condo. that's like a, shop, that's like a <clears throat> shopping store. All of the above. Uh, all of those one-stop shop. Yeah, the first time yeah, I ever yeah, saw that, yeah. I was like, what in the world are we building over here? It, it took us a while. I finally asked my father-in-law. I go, what oh, is yeah. that castle-looking thing? They got a heck of a Dairy Queen over there, too. <laughs> Did you stop there after your Little League games? After you your win? I got to buy one get one free blizzard. <laughs> Coach Austin, by the way, I got some news for you. My son's heck team has done lost to the Big Red Box two times this year. Oh, <clears> Big Red. <throat> So maybe we should get the big red box on here. Maybe we should get them in the power twenty-five. They're they're close. They're I think they're second in the league right now. Mm. So they're I don't know if they would they would fit in, but yeah, the big red boxes they've they've given them a couple L's. Might be time to transfer. Hey boy, <laughs> tell them tell them get in the portal. I'm going to see the big red box. We're going to the PBL portal, the Palmetto it. Baseball League portal. It's the best it. portal. Jump ship. <laughs> Christ, y'all are idiots. Um, <laughs> I was really hoping some of our loyal listeners would have some comments on the Masters or WrestleMania or baseball. We didn't. No, no one anything. other than, than Daniel destroying somebody. Um, I get asked all the time, and we won't do it because Austin's looking after his health, the concession report. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I get asked all the time. Thing. But you're um, always over there looking for your after your health and safety now. Well, I tell you what, the game Friday night the game ended so fast; it was like an hour and a half game. I stopped at KFC in Powdersville on the way home, and that was a, <laughs> that was a disaster. I mean, I mean was, what did you think? It was an absolute disaster. <laughs> Why did you stop there? What'd you order, Austin? So they got so so they have these new chicken nuggets. It's supposed to have like Nashville hot sauce on them, which I'm big Nashville hot chicken guy. Um, and I go I go through the drive through, come to find out the wind was blowing too hard for the speaker in the drive through to work. Which you know, I put a sign on it. Maybe I don't know. I sat there looking like an idiot for ten minutes. Finally, pull around, go inside, and I order this and. The lady says, we're out of chicken. <laughs> like, what? What? How are you out I mean, of chicken at KFC? It's, it's, it's in the, it's in the name. Literally, that's we're what the C chicken. stands for. So, I don't know. It, was, it turned out to be a disaster. So, did you, order, did you get anything? It, well, they had chicken tenders. They chopped them up. Man, it was just, they were out of fries. I had to stop somewhere else. I stopped at McDonald's and got fries, and it took me an hour to get home. So you got chicken tenders and KFC, then went to McDonald's to get fries? Yes. <laughs> and it's that Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> we stopped at, oh on the way home, we stopped at Wendy's, and we tried that new orange creamsicle frosty thing. Actually, pretty good, so... That's how it went. <laughs> jail man, the, the jail man concession stand looked like it was going to be really good. But the, the wind was blowing so hard, I was afraid if I got a burger, it might blow away. But the Beck Middle School team, they were honoring the Beck Middle School team. I'm not sure where Beck Middle is, but they were being honored there that night. Those kids, I, I think they, they ate three dozen burgers. They just crushed it. They all bought a hat, too. So, yeah, hat and a burger. Hat and a burger. I, I don't know. Maybe that came with the ticket. I'm not sure. <laughs> you gotta they're, also, they're, burger. Building, they're building an elementary school like directly <clears throat> behind the baseball field right there. It's kind of an mm-hmm. awkward spot. I mean, it's like they're building it right there. Hey, coach. So, good news. Yeah. All of our hats, our beautiful hats, are done. We're, we're ready to lock and load. Hey, hey, if you want some hats, baby, there they are. There they are, beautifully made. <clears throat> New logo and all. That's it. Man of people. 
You just got to give people what they want. You know what I mean? <clears throat> All right. Y'all too. Is Austin, Austin, you done? I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Because I don't have any questions for you, but I wanted to see if you need to add anything else. I've gave out all my shout outs. I've talked about every sport that is not baseball that I can talk about. I think um, but, that's all I got. Okay, let, 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 let's sign off before he thinks of something else. Yeah. Um, that Kentucky, we'll that new Kentucky wrap it up here. Uh, next week, Coach, Power 25. Um, uh, again? I think it's, uh. it's going to be – might be one of the last releases before the playoffs hit as they're quickly approaching April 30th, I think, is the kickoff for the playoffs. Yeah, we're um, running out of time. Coming very if the soon Island boys aren't going to be number one, I'm not playing along. Well, I guess you better not show we'll up. Um, we'll see what happens. Wow. Unless if Catawba beat, Ridge goes over. If Catawba Ridge loses a game this week and James Allen beats Hanahan, they have to be number one. If not, the know, system no, not is Hanahan. You never say never. But I, I would, I would, and me saying this means they're going to lose. But I would bet the money that Catawba Ridge does not lose this week. Bet the money. But usually, if I do that, there's an L for me. So you're by I'll stocking the boys right now. I'll go ahead and apologize to Catawba Ridge on that comment. But but I'm not gambling, so I'm not. <clears throat> well, so well, we did gamble on Hannah Hand same time. I just can't tell you how much. Um, yeah. Who knows? 20 grand. Um, so the, the power 25 will come out next week. Uh, playoff brackets are being assembled by the PBSC staff. Um, so, so from all of us here at Prep Baseball South Carolina, we hope you have a great week.